me Someday I would buy Galleys with good oars And sails to distant shores Stand up high in the crowd For four years, all that's been in the news is Trump. The next four years, I want to make sure all the news is the American people. I'm tired of talking about Trump. Hello, and welcome to the People's Third Simmons Check and Simmons Package Update. As of February 19th, yep, good, February 19th, 2021. Well, the politicians will basically be returning back to work on Monday. And Nancy Pelosi says that the Houses will vote and pass the stimulus pet bill next week. As you hear, they keep saying next week, next week, next week. And that just messes them, right? And even after the House actually passes that bill and it goes to the Senate, there's going to be Senate Republicans who actually want to basically cut and slash for ways to make the service package smaller. I mean, well, you know, there's two Democratic senators out there that are actually trying to do that. That would be um, Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema. They're trying to basically um, cut it. To, well, basically they're trying to get rid of the, the minimum wage because Joe Manchin believes that $11 an hour is more than sufficient for a better starvation wage. And Kirsten Sinema believes that the minimum wage increase has nothing to do with reconciliation or the pandemic. So both those two could basically make the serious bill cra uh, crash down on everyone, which would be a bad thing. And we also know that when it goes under review in the Senate, they're going to be trying to change things such as the stimulus checks. And the Democrats revealed their immigration reform bill to help undocumented immigrants obtain citizen citizenship. The Democrats are also moving forward with their plans to Audit more rich people. Isn't that nice? They're audit more rich people and corporations, for that matter. And the funny thing is, is the, the relationship between Donald Trump and Mitch McConnell right now is getting worse by the minute. And I'll, I'll go into that in a bit. And basically, this is this whole relationship problem between Donald Trump and Mitch McConnell is causing a division in the Senate Republicans. Because as you know, even though Mitch McConnell is one of those Senate Republicans who decided to vote to not impeach Donald Trump, after the Senate hearings, he went on the press and he basically blamed the whole January 6th insurrection on Donald Trump. And that has been causing a rift between them, too, should I say. And that rift is causing a division between the, the Senate Republicans because there are some Republicans out there that actually fear Donald Trump because Donald Trump basically said to them, he goes, look, if you're going to, this is how it's going to be when it comes to the Senate Republicans. You can either go with Mitch McConnell and you'll lose, or you can come with me and you'll win. And the Senate Republicans are taking this as a threat and are basically, that's how the division's starting. Because they, they, although there's a lot of them out there that don't agree with the whole insurrection act that Donald Trump did, they need his backing and followers to hopefully keep their seats in the Senate. And like I said, that Mitch McConnell and Donald Trump are not on very good speaking terms because the whole insurrection thing they made, which is really weird, but oh well, that's their problem, not mine. Although the Senate Republicans still do call him the Republican leader, not the president, the leader of the, the Senate of the Republicans, basically. And now I'm going to throw two facts out at you and that are actually pr pretty good facts here. Fact number one is Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said 15 million Americans are behind on their rent and 24 million adults and 12 million children don't have enough food to eat and small businesses are failing. That's fact one. Fact two, the politicians have been out of session this whole week they are on vacation but they will claim they are doing district work tired from an insurrection you incited against your government is your state suffering from predictable consequences of a natural disaster caused by your failed leadership 
then it's time for you to throw your constituents and constitution away and escape to Cancun. Constituents underwater? You can be too on one of our reef and shipwreck snorkeling tours. Feeling homesick? Visit the Mayan ruins. No electricity, undrinkable water. It's like you never left Houston. So hurry up, flee in glee, and bask in the glow of Red Hot Sedition in Cancun. Midas Touch is responsible for the content of this advertising. My fellow Texans, I'm right here with you during these trying times, and I'm sending my thoughts and prayers. And cut. Hey, ladies, you got any room in the hot tub for Teddy? But after what you just saw, does that look like they're doing district work? And politicians have one goal in mind when it comes to next week, and only one goal. The House representatives want to vote and pass on the stimulus bill next week. Then it'll go on to the Senate. In the Senate, the Republicans will do everything they can to cut and modify the bill. Once it goes to the Senate, it will be reviewed by the Senate Budget Committee and a Senate Parliamentarian. Can't say that word, sorry. And once in the Senate, the Republicans will be allowed to vote on it but on amendments similar to what happened in the House with a Voterama session. When I talked about earlier, we had like 104 different amendments that we to throw in there, and I think only 41 made it in. The Senate Republicans will be able to make uh, objections in order to get things thrown out of the stimulus bill. The Democrats will have to stay together if they want to preserve this stimulus bill. So let's see what happens. I mean, as you know, we already have the Senate Republicans don't like the Democrats. The Democrats are having problems of, of their own because of Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin and the whole minimum wage thing. They are thinking about you know taking that out and actually trying to do it as a standalone bill just to be on the safe side, but we'll I'll let you know when more information comes available. The Senate Republicans are also looking to amend the income eligibility requirements for the stimulus checks. They are saying that too many checks would go to people who do not need them. Yeah, that's right, they don't, they don't care about us. If, if the others are basically saying that, um, if you, they try to make it say it goes down to $50,000 instead of $75,000. Well, an ecologist, uh, Stephanie Kelton, told the politicians that if the income threshold was changed to $50,000 a year, that would disqualify 40 million people from receiving a stimulus check. Okay, just because you make $75,000 a year doesn't mean you actually, you know, have a brain or how to save it. I mean, as these people are finding out, I mean, please, if I made 75 grand a year and I, and I was able to make that constantly year in, year out, you know I'd have a savings. I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't go out there and try to buy like a 10-bedroom house and five cars. I mean, that's just a waste of money right there. That's what is happening with these people out there. They are making a lot of money. The more they make, the more they spend. And the less savings they have because they're like making multiple house payments, multiple car payments, and all this useless crap they don't need. That's a topic for a different day. The Democrats have also released a bill for the IRS to audit the rich people and corporations. This bill will give $70 billion to the IRS for auditing corporations with over 20 million assets and to audit its single adults that make more than $1 million a year. Congressman Ro Khanna estimates that it will raise $1.2 trillion for the federal government over the course of 10 years. Well, that's actually a good idea. I mean, I mean they're auditing, auditing the small people and they're not getting squat and we're getting hurt really bad. So why don't they just audit the rich people and make corporations? They make them pay their fair share, so maybe they can help out the whole economy. Let me ask my help, does my take on that one. But as far as my stimulus package that goes for you guys, this is actually the end of this one for now. <laughs> so until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Have an excellent Friday. And I'll broadcast again to you guys tomorrow or Sunday when more relevant information comes available. Until then, you guys have a wonderful night. Bye.